In this video, we're going to practice creating a mock-up using Photoshop. To start, you want to create a new document, File New. I chose the web, and I would make this 2,000 pixels wide and 1,000 pixels tall. Then just hit OK. Now I'm going to create an anchor object. I'm just going to click the Shape tool, click on my screen, make it 1,000 pixels wide and 1,000 pixels tall. I'm going to grab my Move tool, move it as close to the center as I can, Control A to select all, and we're going to align this perfectly in the center by clicking this button. All right, make sure your rulers are showing. To do that, Control R or View Rulers. We're going to grab some guides over here by clicking in the ruler and dragging out, and it'll snap into place. Clicking and dragging out, and it will snap into place. You're now going to grab your rectangle tool, click on the screen. We're going to make it 15% of the overall width. So 150 pixels wide, 100 pixels tall, and there I have my rectangle. All right, and before you create this rectangle, make sure you have deselected everything you selected earlier. So Control D is for deselect. I'm going to drag this over here, make sure it snaps into the grid, and to duplicate it five more times, Control J. You would just grab your Move tool, click on that shape. So you should have six shapes total over here on the side. I then drag my top shape over here until it snapped on the right. I'm going to hold down shift and select all of my layers over here on the right, the rectangle layers that is, and I'm going to distribute them across so that they're perfectly spaced out. Now you can move this up higher if you need it to be, and let's get our guides set up. You're going to grab your guides by dragging on the far left, and you're going to snap them in place on each side of the shapes. We're now going to throw guides in for our margins. So I'm going to drag this over. If you can't get it exactly where you want, you can try zooming in to help. There, I've got that set at 490. And now I'm going to do margins in between all of these rectangles. And again, if it's not snapping where you want, you can zoom in further. Now I can grab my Move tool and I can just throw those rectangles away by dragging them into the trash can. And I've got a grid system set up to design my site. Now you can start laying out your site. I grab the Rectangle tool, chose black, and we'll start with the header. Go ahead and drag it out till it snaps into place. Decide what height you want it to be. Do you want it to be 100 pixels, 50 pixels? There we go. Maybe over here we're going to have an image that spans three columns and is about 200 pixels tall. So I'm going to leave a space for that. And again, if you can't get your numbers exact, you can change your zoom in or out. Maybe I'll add a smaller div here that spans all the way across and is about 50 pixels tall. Maybe I'll make some thumbnails down here, about a hundred pixels tall. And then I will duplicate that by hitting Control J. Grab this top one, drag it all the way over to the right. Then I'm going to select all of those thumbnails in my layers. and I'm going to distribute them across. And then with all of my layers selected over here, I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate those. Drag down to give me another row of thumbnails. And now I've created a footer. And now you can kind of get a see, see a look. Here I've got a header, a left call, a right call, another div, an area for some thumbnails and a little footer and I could easily turn this into a responsive design.